Daily Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos for Chemistry 121. And today we're going to be doing some practice with this nuclear decay stuff. We already did that in lab though. Well, yes, but we need to show them how it's done. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I'm Joey Smoke. And we'll be presenting this for you today. Okay. So I have three different decay problems that we can work through. So let's start with this one. So uranium-235, mm -hmm. it undergoes alpha decay, Yep. and then it forms, of course, the alpha particle in some unknown nucleus. Right. So, of course, what we want to know is the identity of this right here. Right. So, how would you go about this? Well, if I remember right, alpha decay is basically where you lose a helium. Yes. Right? So all we're going to have to do is take this, subtract the weight of a helium, which is 4. Mm -hmm. So that's going to become 231 yeah. for the weight. And then we have 90, 92 protons, right? But since helium has two protons and we lost the helium, that's going to give us 90 protons. All right. Or an atomic number of 90. Because mm -hmm. remember, what makes every element different is the number of protons in the nucleus. What makes one atom different from another? The number of protons in the nucleus? The number of protons in the nucleus. Take a look at this piece of metal. It's shiny, like silver. Now here's another piece of metal. It's shiny too, but it's a little bit orange colored, like gold. Well, you can tell they're both metals. You can look at them, rub your fingers on them, and bang on them. Ah, uh, Bill. Now this material turns out to be aluminum, and this material turns out to be copper. Now the main difference between this material and this material is... The number of protons in the nucleus? The number of protons in the nucleus. All right, so 231 and 90. Yes. Now, if you could go and look what oh, right. number 90 is. I'll be right back with that. Go ahead and call it out. Thorium. Thorium, thank you very much. So. T3190th, and that's going to be our answer. Okay. All right. You know, this is why they need to just, like, make periodic table tattoos on the back of your hand or something. And then... Yeah, it would be quite nifty. That would be nice. So, moving on to this one. So, we start with an unknown nucleus. And from here, we can see it undergoes beta decay to get the nitrogen-14 nucleus. Okay, let's see. So, now what is beta decay again? I forgot. Beta decay is when you essentially lose an electron from the nucleus. Okay. And what happens is that the mass number doesn't change, mm -hmm. but the atomic number on this new on the resultant nucle new nucleus increases by one. That, and that's to make sure everything adds up on both sides. Right. So even though we lost the electron, we kind of gained a proton sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. sort of like that. Okay. So, well, if that's the case... You know, atomic weight's obviously 14, that yeah. didn't change. And then, so let's see, if we have seven protons now, mm -hmm. that means that we should have to have started with uh, six protons. All right. So our atomic number is... Fortunately, I mean, yeah, fortunately, I know what this is, so that's 14, 6, carbon. Oh, now, this carbon is 14. The, yeah, this is the carbon 14 you keep hearing about. Carbon-14 dating. That's right. Yeah. Pretty nifty. All right, now we're on to this one. Okay, uh, I forgot what that one is, too. Okay, so here it's a positron. It's kind of like a beta yeah. particle, but it's, po it's a plus one here instead of a minus one. Mm -hmm. It's still essentially weightless. It's like an electron, but it has a positive instead of a negative charge. Okay. And again, the goal is to make sure everything adds up on both sides. Okay, so... Atomic weight won't change again, right? Right. So we're still on 15. Mm -hmm. And then, so let's see. It looks like our atomic number is going to have to be 14. Atomic number? Yeah. Or wait, hold on. I was talking about the wrong thing there. Uh, let's see. 7. 7. Yes. All right. Cool. Yeah. So that gives us 15 and 7, which atomic number 7 being nitrogen. Nitrogen. That makes sense. I must have been thinking about that one still, or whatever, so... Okay. okay. So, that's just a basic primer on how to do... Really, it's... it's can be boiled down to algebra problems, really, and making basically. sure you remember what problem's what. Yeah. 
So you just remember what's being lost and what's being gained mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. So. And that's all really all there is to it. Okay, so I want to go back to the lab. I want to go back to the lab. I'll see you later. All right, I better make sure he doesn't cause any accidents. <laughs>